Acting Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk has celebrated Easter Sunday with his family in Kiev, where he made a short statement calling for Ukrainians across the country to unite. It's a very big day when... It's the first time on this great day at Easter that Ukraine is confronted with plans to squash and destroy it. But on this holy day, I would like to assure everyone that if we stay united and stand together, darkness will disappear and light will win and Ukraine will resurrect. Yatsenyuk's government has said it would suspend the active phase of an operation it launched to reassert its authority. A suspicious early morning shooting near Slavyansk in northern Donetsk province, however, threatened to escalate tensions. Locals blame the shooting, which killed at least one local separatist, on a group of pro-Ukrainian nationalists. Kremlin-backed leaders in control of Slavyansk said they would not leave the buildings they have occupied until the pro-Kiev protest groups occupying Independence Square, the scene of months-long protests against Yanukovych, also go home. Despite the difference in religious calendars, this year Catholic and Orthodox Easters are celebrated on the same day. Many Donetsk residents who attended church ceremonies said they are hoping for a quick and peaceful resolution of the months-long Ukrainian crisis. So far, gunmen occupying public buildings in Donetsk and other Russian-speaking border towns refused to recognize an accord signed in Geneva on April 17th, by which Russia, Ukraine, and Kiev's U.S. and European allies agreed that the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe should oversee the disarmament of militants and the evacuation of occupied facilities and streets. The coming days may determine whether unrest, following the overthrow of Ukraine's pro-Moscow president, can be contained.